This video is a quick walkthrough on the listing process with an Inkfrog. I'm logged into my Inkfrog account and I'm at the home screen. We'll click on the listings icon and this takes me to an overview of items that I've previously created and saved in Inkfrog. If you haven't listed with Inkfrog before, you may not have anything here. I'll click on the new listing button and that's going to open a new window. Now if you've listed directly from eBay using the sell your item form, this is probably going to look pretty familiar. There are several really powerful features that Inkfrog offers, so we'll just kind of walk through this form and I'll point out those uh, advanced features that are meant to simplify or automate things for you. So we can enter an item title. I have some pictures of a Apple notebook we'll list here and we can select if we'd like to create an auction, an eBay store item, or an eBay fixed price item. Now you can select uh, the different format type and you'll notice several other things in the page change dynamically. So you can actually create any one of these three listing types on this one form. So we'll leave it as a standard auction. And one thing I'd like to point out is the ability of Inkfrog to list on multiple eBay marketplaces. So you can select your marketplace. If you had a vehicle, you can list directly to eBay Motors. Or if you're wanting to list a product for international sales or high international exposure, you can list it directly on the international marketplace. So we'll enter a starting price and a buy now price. And we have one of these for sale. And if you're a user that has multiple eBay accounts that you use to sell with, you're really going to like this. Inkfrog will let you set up multiple eBay IDs in your account preferences. And then you'll have a pull down menu here where you can select which of your IDs you'd like to list this product with. So with one Inkfrog account, you can actually sell with multiple eBay user IDs. So we'll come down to the category selector here and click Browse and we're going to look for the computer category in this uh, pop-up category selector and we'll find Apple computers and Apple laptops and you'll see that the category number this is the eBay category number is now applied and we can select it can enter the product specifics I'm gonna skip those just so we can move on with the form but these would be the item specifics that would help uh, in your eBay search we're going to come down here and look at pictures and I've already uploaded some images and if you're not familiar with that process we've also got another tutorial video that will walk you through that uh, but we assume you've done that already and we're going to add some saved images so this opens up the image selector and I've got a folder of images called MacBook Pro and here's all the images so I can select one or more so we'll just select five or six here and I'm going to select those and they're automatically added to the auction now one thing that's really neat is you can change the priority of your images or the order that they display in by just dragging them so if I wanted this image to display first I can just drag it over here to the left and that becomes my first image that users will see The next area of the listing form is the description area. Now if you're using another program to generate your HTML code and you want to paste it in, that's fine. But I'd recommend looking at Inkfrog's WYSIWYG editor. And this is a standard text editor, uh, bold, italic, underline, you can select your font sizes and you can literally just enter your description and start making changes to it on the fly. So that's a really powerful feature. You can also enter your payment terms and your shipping terms. One of the next things we're going to look at is the template selector. Inkfrog has a very large selection of predefined templates that match just about any category. They are separated by category or by template type so we'll select a template 
and you can see that there's everything from antiques to whimsical. And we'll select a business template for this computer here. And let's use the blue theme one. We'll select this template. And if you're using uh, items you want to sell repeatedly, you, you might want to consider using inventory, but we'll leave that for another video. And your item location is going to carry over from your Inkfrog account preferences. And let's see, we do charge sales tax here. So I can set up my tax rate for local buyers. And I would like to accept payments via PayPal. And I'll also select uh, money orders and personal checks. If we look down here on the shipping types, this is uh, something that you'll definitely want to set up. You can tell uh, Inkfrog where you'd like to ship your item to. I'm going to select only my country on this item, but you can select your country and a few other regions, or you can set up a worldwide sale. You can select your shipping carrier and a flat rate. And I will also point out that you can use calculated uh, shipping options if you like. I'm just using a flat rate. And you can provide additional checkout instructions for your buyer. Now this is another thing I'd like to point out that's a really powerful feature if you use it. It's the post auction rules. So we'll show these rules. If you set up a winning bidder email or WBE, you can select that so that your customer is going to receive an automatic email when they win the item. And you might want to contain some uh, payment instructions or um, just a general thank you for making the purchase and your contact information. So we'll set that up so that the customer who wins this item receives that. And then there are also some rules that we can, that we can look at. You can automatically relist the item if it's unsold, and you can select how many times you'd like to relist it unsold. Or if you have multiples of the item and you want to relist it even if it is sold, you want to look at this rule here. You can also set up a threshold if you had multiple items to generate an automatic second chance offer. So if it got to within you know 90% of your buy it now price, you might want to enable that. And then say, uh, I think I put $9.99 for the buy it now. We'll just say if uh, the bidding exceeds $900, that we want to generate a second chance offer. If you're using the inventory feature, you can also tell Inkfrog to only relist it if the inventory is greater than zero. And you can schedule for repeated items when you'd like those repeated items to launch. Next I'd like to show you the Showcase, which is an Inkfrog feature that's basically a flash movie that contains um, ads to your other items and it's always shown in your listing. We'll put the Showcase widget as a flash movie at the bottom of the listing. And now we can preview the listing. And this is what our listing looks like so far. The images can be enlarged. And here's our showcase widget down at the bottom that's got links to other items. So now that we've got the listing created and we've previewed it, we can decide what we want to do with it. If you just want to list this item one time, you can launch it immediately using this button. If you'd like to check your fees and see what the total listing price is, Inkfrog will calculate your listing fee for you. And my listing fee would be $4.25 on this item. You can also save it as a draft if it's something that you'd like to work with later. Or you can save it to a library. And you can select which folder you'd like to put it in. So that's a basic overview of the entire listing process with Inkfrog. Uh, there's more advanced features, but we'll dig into those in another video.